All right, so welcome to Photoshop. So I was just watching this ridiculous video on how to use dust and scratches to remove dust and scratches from product photography. And guess what? Using this dust and scratches is like the worst thing you could ever do in photography to remove dust and scratches from an image. So I'm going to show you uh, why you shouldn't use it and what you should use. Now, the first thing you should do is clean this off. So we have this little Zoom H1 recorder here. Get a can of air, an anti-static brush, anything you can do to get as much dust as possible. I purposely did not do that. So as we zoom in here, we can see this thing is just littered with dust. Now, nobody's gonna want product photography looking like this with dust all over. So this is to the extreme. Hopefully you should be able to get this closer by using uh, air or a brush or anything to get rid of it. I just used a paper towel and you can see all the lint and fibers and everything left on the image. So what we're gonna do is first go up here to uh, what this guy said you should do, dust and scratches, and that's great. So we're gonna be using 420, but I'm gonna move this all the way to the left. So what you will see here is this is kind of the default where it's not really doing much of anything. Um, it takes a second to render for you to see it. So what you're gonna do is so slowly creep up on the radius until all those dust and scratches start to remove or disappear. So in this case, I know it's four, so we'll just bump that up to four, and we'll give this a second and you'll see, there it goes. Most of those dust and scratches have been removed. So the next thing we're going to do is now increase our thresholds. So it's going to bring back some details. So we're going to just keep moving this up until we start to barely see the detail come back. So I know it was at 20, so I'm going to move up to 24. And we'll give this a second here to render. And you will start to see little bitty pieces of dust here starting to show back up. So I'm going to knock it back to, we'll do 21, 21 will be fine. And we're gonna hit okay. So dust and scratches, and guess what? It worked exactly as you would think it was. It's dust and scratches and now they've been removed. However, the way it works is not optimal. In product photography, you wanna see the product and the texture and how it's made. What this program does is blur the image and ruin it. So look at H1 Hander Recorder. So I'm going to zoom and undo what I just did. Look how sharp that is. Look at all the texture and detail. Look at the rec park in there, or rec peak. I mean, it's blurring that. There's nothing sharp in here. It's just everything's all blurry and doesn't look good. So any uh, texture on the plastic that somebody might want to see, like here we have this little ribbing on this circle, is eventually going to be gone because you're removing that by using the noise filter. So we're going to look at it back like this and back like this. So obviously uh, a product photography is trying to show what the product looks like. This is not helping. So we're going to undo this. So I'm going to show you how I get rid of dust and scratches and it's really, really easy. So I could go in here. I'm not going to duplicate, but I would normally go ahead and duplicate the layer, but we're not going to do that for a video. I'm gonna zoom in here, I'm gonna grab this brush, and notice I've got a little tiny one. I'm gonna come in here and clean up every dot. Is this quick? No. Does this take forever? Yes. So what do you wanna do? You wanna get rid of as many of these as you can. in the cleanup process, so you don't have to go into this. Now when you get into this, these content aware filters sometimes pick up and will copy this over here. So be careful when you do it. You might need to come over and switch to a clone stamp brush where you, as you get closer, or in here if you need to recreate these areas, you might need to use the clone stamp brush and be more exact. So that is how you really clean up an image in photography. Um, the noise filter has been there forever. I've never used it. It's a total waste of time because all it does is blur your image. Now. If we were trying to do in the background, sure, that would probably be fine. But, you know, who cares if, if they're, you're not going to see the dust and scratches on a background anyways because it's already out of focus. 
in product photography, you only care about the product. So you need to first get it as uh, uh, clean as possible. This is a plastic material, so um, using something with lint is not good. A microfiber towel would even be better. Blow it off, get it as clean as possible. And then you're not going to have as many dust and scratches as you've seen with mine. Um, and you're going to have far less time coming in and cleaning it up. But truthfully, the only way to clean up product photography is manual and just get in there and remove everything that you see. So hopefully that's helpful. Just because you see something on the web doesn't mean it's actually correct. And uh, any comments or questions, you can leave those below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.